Hi. This video is being brought to you by our website, www.slotsdirect.com. That's Slots Direct, S L O T S D I R E C T, slotsdirect.com. And all of our machines are featured on our website. This is the beautiful Mills War Eagle. It was built in the late 40s. Uh, this one was built around 1948. It's a beautiful machine as you can see. It looks brand new. And they're sold on our website, slotsdirect.com. I'm going to show you a little bit about this machine. As you can see, this is a 25 cent Mills War Eagle. All you do, you put a quarter in here, and you pull the arm down. Payoff schedule is listed on this card, and if you get one cherry, you get two quarters. If you get two cherries, you get five, and so on and so on, up until you get bar, 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 in which case it would dump, dump out the jackpot window, which at this time has nothing in it because we just started playing it. But this jackpot window will build up quarters over time. What happens is when you get a brand, when you first get the machine, the, there's a big payout tube in here that holds about 300 quarters and that's what makes all your small payouts so as you play the quarters fill up the payout tube which I said is about 300 quarters once that's filled up then the quarters start being diverted to the jackpot window this holds about $25 worth of quarters once the jackpot window fills up then the quarters go into a coin box in the back which I'll show you so this won't start collecting quarters for quite a while after you first start playing the machine. When you get bar, 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 this jackpot window dumps out and 25 or so dollars worth of quarters go into this window and then the whole process starts all over again. Like I said, all your small winnings go down here. We'll just play a couple quarters and see if we can get lucky enough to get a small winning at least. Okay, we just got two cherries and an orange. Two cherries and an orange pays out five quarters. And we'll see we have five quarters in the payout right here. You also notice that this is what's called the coin escalator. There's a window here that shows the last five coins that were played. This is so that in the casinos, the floor managers could walk around and if somebody was playing slugs, they could see them in the window. This window was really just put in here to keep people from playing slugs because they knew they would get caught. When they win, somebody can look in here and make sure there's all quarters in the window. So we just won five quarters and just play them a little more, a couple more times, and then I'll show you a little more about the machine. Oh, what did we get? We just got one quart, one cherry, so we got two more quarters. It's really kind of fun. It's a good way to, you can use it as a piggy bank in your home and save all your quarters. When you come home from work and play your quarters in the machine, and after a while you have enough in here to take a nice little vacation or something. Okay, so that's basically how it works. Now let me show you a little bit about the insides of the machine. So if I turn it around, you can see that there's a lock on the back door. So you turn the lock, you can lift this door right off, and you can see the inside of the machine. You see the reels from the back, see the payoff wheels, the payoff sliders. This is the arm damper that dampens the main, so the arm doesn't slam back up after you let go of it. It's like a shock absorber. It comes up and uh, gently comes up. And this is the coin tray. There's two quarters in it right now. This is where the quarters go after they fill up the bonus window and the payout tube. Okay, now this is easy to take the mechanism out of this machine if you want. You lift these two levers, you lift the top off. Once you lift this top off, you can see the back of the coin escalator. You can see how the coins get moved across. Now if you want to remove the mechanism, you lift this arm and this arm and the whole mechanism will lift right out of the machine. When you do that, you've got the whole mechanism out of the machine. You can send it for repairs or put it on a bench for repairs. And then you can see, this is the back of the bonus window mechanism. 
in the inside of the machine. So to put it back together, what you do is just slide this mechanism right back in place. Okay, once it's in, you know it's in all the way because these tabs go behind. Then just lower the holding brackets for the mechanism. Leave these up. Put this top back on. Lower the brackets for the top. Make sure the top in there just right. Okay, you lower the brackets for the top. Put the back back on. Turn the key and it's locked. I'll turn the machine back around. Show you that it still works after we did all that. Put some quarters in it. So it's pretty simple. As you can see these machines use absolutely no electricity. They're 100% mechanical. And almost all the Mills machines have the same mechanism inside as this one does. They're pretty much interchangeable. And that's it for the 1948 Mills War Eagle. Beautiful machine. Thank you for watching. Remember our website, slotsdirect.com. S-L-O-T-S-D-I-R-E-C-T, -E all one word, slotsdirect.com. You can see all of our machines and prices on there, and you can order online if you want. Thank you.